I'm Dave Stanley from the sustainability consultancy E3 and the invitation is to you to join me on a series of briefings to challenge the thinking. Now you all have heard of the elevator pitch where in 30 seconds the bit between two floors you're supposed to get the message across. Well sustainability is a bit more complex and requires a little more transparency than selling consumer goods. But anyway here we go on the elevator pitch. On this holding each year you turn around and mow, turn, bale, load up four to five thousand bales, that's about 50 tonnes, onto trailers and bring them into the yard here and unload them and five guys used to turn around and pass it to the top of the stack. Now since I got this elevator I've been able to dispense with three guys. That's a saving as I was doing the paying but on the other hand if you're on the earning end, you'll see it as a loss of three jobs. Now, the question to you is this. How much manpower do you think there is in a gallon of uh, petrol or five litres, if you wish? Now, to give you a clue, the tank on this elevator contains a couple of pints and will see us through the day. Well, the answer to the question is that a gallon of petrol has two to three man weeks worth of labour. Now these briefings are going to be about challenging how we do things and how we might do them smarter. And by that I mean be more competitive and also more sustainable at the same time. And in doing so we're going to challenge the established thinking on sustainability and also challenge your thinking. Now who's it for? Well It'll be aimed at busy chief executive officers, senior managers who need a broad grasp of sustainability to know what the threats and opportunities are to their organisation, which will then enable them to ask the killer questions down the organisation as to what's going on or more likely what's not going on and why. It'll also be for environmental managers who wish to check that they've got a reasonable grasp of the wider issues on sustainability and environmental management beyond their own specialism. And it's also for those with an inquiring mind who wish to be able to cut through the rhetoric on sustainability that we're all being bombarded with. Where are you at on sustainability? Well, I've put together 12 questions on energy and climate change that you should know the answers to. Here they are, they're coming out now, hit the pause button, pen and paper, note down what you consider the answers. And when you've done that, we'll run through a free video and work through the answers with you. I look forward to you joining me shortly.